Have you ever opened up your SolidWorks and been missing every single toolbar that you use whenever you open SolidWorks? If so, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. Welcome to Sketch Model Build. Ready to dive in today's video? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you more content on sketching designs, creating CAD models, and building techniques. Now let's get started. Thanks for your support. Every single time I teach class, invariably one student has this problem. They try to create a new part, but when they open it up, all they see is maybe the CAM tabs and the MBD tabs. So what do you do? Well, you can right click on these tabs and try to reopen them if that's possible. You might try going to view workspace and then just clicking default to reset things, but oftentimes that never works. And if you were smart enough and thought ahead, you could even go up here to the gear icon, click that drop down, and click Save and Restore. And if you've saved your settings, which is something I encourage you to do, you could click on Restore Settings. I saved my settings file here in my documents, and I could just click on that and click Open. But if that doesn't work, let's see what we have to do. We actually have to nuke the interface. So we're going to go down here and type in Reg Edit. And we'll open this up and we'll click the drop down of H key current users. You'll go to software, scroll down until you get to SolidWorks, and then scroll until you get to your current version. Keep scrolling down until you get to user interfaces. So we're going to right click on the command manager and we'll click rename underscore old. And then I can close this out, close SolidWorks, and then reopen SolidWorks. And now that SolidWorks is back open, we'll create a new part and we'll see that our tabs have been reset. Hopefully that fixed your problem, and hopefully it fixed your student's problem, if that's where it came from.